Hello everybody, Grace Jill Plays, welcome to a new game for the channel called Atomic Society. So Atomic Society brings me back, man, to the day when I was playing Villagers. Also kind of, I don't know, maybe like Universim style? This is a uh, city builder, post-apocalyptic style city management game. It's really cool. I've read a little bit about it. I've looked up a little bit about it. This is still very, very pre-alpha. You can buy it if you want to. I think it's $15. I'll have a link in the description below. I went ahead and purchased it just to check it out, kind of bring some of the content to you guys. I think it's really neat. There's a lot of different things here. We're going to check it out now. So very first thing is, it says identify yourself. You can see there's a little bit of a character creation screen. 20 years have passed. Since the bombs fell. As a child, you survived the war in a government bunker. You were raised to be a society builder. To go out with a small group of trained engineers and reconstruct civilization in the wasteland. <laughs> oh, that's, that's fantastic. All that time in college and this is what we're going to be doing. After the radiation fades, you prepare to leave the bunker and build the first city of a new age with the values and morals fit for such a time. You will attract survivors who are desperate and tired of life in the wastes. They will look to you for leadership, but can they trust you? So we're going to be doing this with a little bit of the tutorial so we can kind of learn through it. This is where we kind of create our person. Looks like we can get some hair colors here. Where's the gray hair color? Right there, baby. Skin color. I don't know. I'm kind of an olive-skinned individual. Maybe like right about there. Uh, not quite that pale. Right about right there. We got a shirt color. I don't know why this would matter. We're out in the wastes. If I can survive long enough to get to the point where I could find food and water, I would consider that a victory. Ah, nice white shirt to repel the harmful rays of the deadly sun as the various radioactive particles rain down upon us. That seems to be pretty legit. Am I a female? I gotta be a guy here. It's, I, don't think I'm, I don't think I'm quite female material, despite my very uh, effeminate voice. Uh, from here... What sort of pants? Oh my god, are those freaking checkered pants? This is a fantastic ensemble right here, boys. This is exactly what I'm talking about. It looks like you have no choice for your facial hair. You get facial hair whether you like it or not. So, looks like this is what we're dealing with. Well, to be fair, it's Atomic Society. There's not much... I, I, I imagine getting a Schick razor isn't high on my priorities. Now we need an appropriate leader's name. Our name will be Gray... Uh, oh, and we get a surname. I don't know. Turkey Master. There we go. Great Turkey Master. Lord of the Turkeys. In age. Oh my god. 1 to 99 years old. Uh, I'm just gonna push up some random numbers. So Gray is now, oh, 43 years old. There you go, boys. Am I 43 in real life? One day you'll know. Choose where you want to build your settlement. Let's freaking do this. Where are my choices at here? The oh my god, the dunes! Oh, oh, they all have different. Check this out. Seeking a place of shelter from raiders, you enter a secluded desert. There is an eerie calm here and a chance to start anew. The canyons enter deep and isolated canyons, well sheltered and contains a few ruins from a rural town. Okay, the forest. Okay. The forest has started to reclaim part of the country. Old trees choke out the soil. Bowling wind sweeps in from the radioactive lakes. Sounds great. But at least not everything in the wasteland has turned to dust. Okay. Oh, the floodplain. Nuclear explosions caused a fault. Ruptures thousands of kilometers away, sending a coastal village into the sea. The remaining land mass is broken into islands and causeways, making this a challenging location. I don't want to be challenged yet. Oh, God, the tundra. Nuclear winter, boys! Respite, you stumble across the snow plain with a few hills and useful ruins. Perhaps your people can survive the endless winter. Or a freaking iceberg! The mainland is too dangerous. You set sail in a rusty freighter and stumble upon an island covered in ice. And a former fishing village. It's remote, but migrants may follow you. Damn! These are actually really cool. Then there's a summit, a crater, and just regular old wasteland. Ah, oh, damn, I don't know which one. It's like between, I think, the iceberg and the forest. Because the iceberg is like, this is random as hell, but like, you know, a forest is a forest. Forest is kind of pretty cool. Maybe have some good, good views for us and stuff. You know what I mean? You know what? I'm gonna do the forest. 
Back when I played Village, that was in a forest-like environment. What the hell? We're going to do this right over here. Continue. Give me my forest civilization. Build a crematorium or risk the chance of plague. All right. Crematory. Coming right up. There we go, boys. There's our scumbags. So this is the forest, huh? Looks like crap. Um, let's see over here. Well, let's take a look. Very, let's take a look first. We'll go ahead and pause things right now because I imagine everyone's just kind of being sad. And oh, I already found some ruins. All right. Oh wow, there's actually a couple things down here. We got a busted up car down here too. Oh man, taking the opportunity to you can grab a right click and like move all around here. This makes looking around so much easier. Thank God this exists. Look at this. We got all kinds of stuff in the forest, man. We got like a, I don't know what this is, maybe like a farmhouse or something down here. I know I saw there's another farmhouse down there. And then by the water, look at this. There's like, what is this, like a billboard? Yeah, it's like a friggin' billboard or something like that. It is, that's exactly what that is. An old busted out billboard and another building over there. And I think there was some more stuff over here by the lake, one of the lakes. We have a couple of lakes over here. I think they're like horrible radioactive lakes of sadness. Oh, yeah, right over here, check this out. It's friggin', uh, whatchamacallit, uh, one of the, uh, electrical towers. Or maybe it's a phone tower. Well, you know what it is. It's one of the power line towers, that's what it is. And there's all kinds of other stuff over here, too. There's a couple other buildings and stuff. We got, we get, yep, right over there. There's some, uh, some of the, uh, the phone lines. All right, man, this is a pretty cool place over here. I think, uh, I think, oh, what is this? There's a freaking boat over here. There's a boat over here and a shipping container and a big ass. All right, this is really cool. Um, man, where do we want to build? There's so many, like, legitimately decent areas to maybe build. Oh, there's an old light post over here. All right, I've decided we're going to build over here because this boat looks freaking legit. Also, there's a big-ass house over there and, like, this shipping container. Welcome to Atom Atomic Society. This tutorial will explain how to build your first town and set your first law. Oh, that's the other thing that we get to do, boys. We get to make the law. Click on the orange arrow to proceed uh, to the right of this text box to proceed to the next help message. You can return to any previous message. All right, very good. At the start of a new game, you will be in an overview mode. This lets you get a higher look of the area. Hold down the right mouse button look around. You can zoom in and out. Okay, very good. You can move the camera with WASD or cursor keys. You can also drag left click. Okay, so you can kind of move this way as well. Note that the further you zoom out, the faster camera goes. Excellent. Now let's enter the town leader mode. God, yes, this is what I've waited my whole life for. All 43 years of it. Take control of your town leader by clicking on the circular icon to the bottom right of the screen or by pressing the space bar. You can now move the town leader by using the WISD or cursor keys or left clicking your mouse on a free spot on the ground to tell him where to go. Your town leader can be used to do optional tasks in the town and explore. We shall see. All right, town leader. I want you, well actually first, let's go ahead and uh, turn, the, uh, turn the old pauser off here. I want you, good sir, in the crowd over here. There he is. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can walk with him. Yes, town leader, run. Run, you gimpy bastard. There's a house in the distance. Actually, let's just go ahead and I think you can just left click and he'll start moving. Okay, good. So he's gonna run over there of his own volition, I imagine. Um, are you taking the long way, buddy? Why don't you why don't you go across the fields and over the houses and such this way? There we go. Alright. So while he's moving, the first thing you need to do is choose where to found your town. To do this, you must convert one of the larger ruins on the landscape into a storehouse. Well, lucky us. Press the space bar to return to the overview mode and look around. All right. For a large ruin to make the center of your upcoming settlement, once you've found one, right-click on the ruin and choose the orange convert to storage. All right. So right over here, salvage room. Oh, wow. This was a church. Yes, this is a perfect storage. Ruins like this can be converted into a storehouse or standard quality homes, leaving all resources in the building, and it will not require the building supplies to convert. Okay. So we want to convert this to a storehouse. So let's go ahead and get that going right about now. What is all this over here? Help build the structure. Yes, go my child. Build the structure. While that's happening, let us continue with the tutorial. Ignore the construction zone menu that pops up and right click anywhere on the ground to close it. Now look back at your group of survivors. Four of them will set off to convert the ruin into a storehouse. 
These four are your engineers. The engineers are only citizens that can build at the moment, but you can train more later. Well, thank God. Where the hell are my guys at? Oh, there we go. Hold on. There are things that happen over here. Let me go back over to overview mode. Yes, my people. Yes. Slowly trudge through the sad, broken wastelands. The children have giant heads in atomic society, probably because of all the radiation. Uh, let's see here. These four are your engineers. Engineers. Okay. So if I right click on this, ah, Eliza Murphy. Wife of Eddie Murphy, one of uh, the distant relatives over here, is working on this, as well as Jonathan Parker. That's really weird, because I know a Jonathan Parker in real life. Sky Richards and Mariam Dahl. Cool. What happens if you click on this? Oh, look at that! Right over there. It tells you all about him. She's a citizen. She's 18 years old. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of the universe sim. Uh, inventory, and then she has a bunch of needs. Okay, good. So, we've done that. While they're going off to convert that ruin, let's use our spare time to gather supplies. To make any buildings in Atomic Society, you need three types of uh, materials, rubble, scrap metal, and wood. The only way to gather these resources is scavenge from various ruins around the map. Now, luckily, we do have a bunch of ruins nearby right down here. Later on, we will employ citizens to gather these supplies for us, but right now, let's gather them in person. Go back into town leader mode and left-click on any of the ruins, vehicles, or man-made objects you see the option to salvage it will pop up. Okay, so we're gonna go back into our town leader mode, and right down here we have like this weird storage container. So salvage. So let's go ahead and do that. Our, our boy's gonna move down there. Wow, look, okay, now he's moving, baby. Now he's got the old pep in his step. That's right. Go toward the radioactive lakes. The water's fine. We're on day eight already? Holy crap. Your town leader will automatically go off and loot that ruin. You can speed this up by using the time control. Okay, excellent. I love the fact there's a time control. You can use plus and minus as well. Gather a little loot to see how it works. I'm sure he'll get that loot, no big deal. Try speeding up time and then keep looting and exploring until your engineers have finished converting the first storehouse. This may take some time, so feel free to go into overview mode. All right. Uh, or we can click on it here, it looks like. Whoa! What is the name of the settlement? This came up randomly. I guess we get to name it. The name of the settlement is Turkeytopia. There we go. All individuals, all hail Turkeytopia. It has come. The time has come for all the turkeys to know about our lands. Inventory is full. How's this going on up here, boys? Are we done yet? Uh, yep. Attempt to deposit all resources into this storehouse. Looks good. Buddy, go do that. So while he's doing that, let's see here, naming box. All right, so we did the name. Now that you have a storehouse, you can deposit your items. Your town leader just salvaged. Oh, that's actually what I'm doing. To do this, let's click on the new storehouse and click on the round icon that pops up to deposit items. Yes. Everyone is very, very non-impressed with surviving. They're all just kind of meandering. Why don't you guys maybe do a little work yourself? When has this happened? Right-click on your storehouse to see what resources. Oh, re oh right-click. There we go. To see what resources it currently has in it. Yes, wood, scrap metal. We got some bottled water. Nice. This is happening, right? Okay. Uh, later on, if you run out of storage space, you can convert more ruins or build a storehouse from scratch. Got it. Now you have a first storehouse. You need to create brand new structures. To do so, click on the hammer button. Hammer time. Oh, wow. In the bottom right hand side of the screen, this will bring up a list of all available structures. Explore the structures that are available in this version of the game, and when ready, continue to the next step. I will check these out as we read. Choose the scavenger's hut, which is in the functional section, the cog icon. Ah, right here then. Oh, wow, holy crap, there's actually a few things. You can rotate scavenger's hut by holding down R or E, left click anywhere on the ground. The building will light up when you can place it. All right, so a scavenger's hut. I imagine we're gonna wanna put this down here because we're gonna be scavenging all this, I assume. So let's go ahead. Where am I allowed to put this? Oh, it has to be on a certain type of flat land. Okay. Very good to know. Um, we have a lot of flat land on this little peninsula over here for the most part. We also have a good amount of flat land over here too. I kind of like that. So let's put it right about here. And then we can rotate it as we need. Now, if you can't have it in a spot while rotating it, fix this. Not really. Okay. So let's just put it right about... I want it facing this way, and we'll put it right on the edge, right there, boom, okay, so we're started on that, 
let's keep going. I think that we can assist this. Um, yeah, right over here. See, help build this structure. Excellent. Get our guy going. Once successfully placed, your engineers will now go off to build the structure. You can help them out by speeding up the process to do this left click on the percentage and help them out. Okay, we've already done that. Town leader's going to go and help things out. Once the scavenger's hut has been finished being built, right click on it and go to the employees tab at the top. Or you can click on it. Tick a higher workers box to hire maximum amount of staff. Okay, this now. Okay, so the higher workers portion reminds me of Tavern Tycoon. So that's kind of interesting that that is there. Where in the living hell are my engineers? Engineers, where are you at? Oh, you're, are you very, very slowly walking down to the building? Or do you just not know how to get down there? I'm kind of curious about this. I, I don't think... I know you guys can get down here because the town leader got down there. He didn't have any freaking problem. All right, boys, I got a question right now. Is this dude sleeping or is he dead? Because he look like he's dead. All right, that dude is scorpioned out on the ground. That doesn't look good. All right, that does not look good. Ah, the engineers can get down the mountain pass over here. They're just very, 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 very slow. Let's go ahead and continue onward from this. Citizens will now go over and start working on the scavenger's hut. Scavengers automatically search the wasteland for vital new building materials and additional food and water. On the employees tab, you may have also spotted buttons with a padlock icon. You can use this to fire workers if you do not need the maximum number of workers. Okay, so getting this built is like, like ultimate, epic, important, pronto thing. How fast can you? Wow, you can really move stuff along. Time six, actually. All right, good to know. So yeah, we're going to want... We're going to want scavengers ASAP to start getting out there and finding stuff. Okay, so now let's right-click on it, and we're going to want to hire workers. I want as many hired as possible. So Owen, Lacey, Felix, and Teddy <laughs> are now going to work. Go start harvesting, my children. We're on day 20, and already people are freaking dropping like flies. You will soon have a basic income of resources and can focus on the other needs of your survivors. New migrants will soon be arriving at your town and they will have needs too. In the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you can see the average readout of all the needs of your people. Five orange bars. Now this, like the uh, the approval rating and stuff like that, that kind of also reminds... This actually reminds me a little bit of Avon Colony. I played a lot of these games. I actually really enjoy these games. I hope you guys are too. These, this, a lot of these games are really kind of neat. Just find out the different building types and watching people die horribly from radioactivity and get slaughtered. That said, that got dark really quick. If you right-click on a citizen, you can also gain more information on their issues and problems. Oh, I'll bet we have some issues. Oh, God. Oh, God. I bet the plague is going to start. He has no citizen. He's homeless and he's unwell. He's been wounded. Well, Jesus, that's not good. We need food, water, and a place to sleep. Medical aid. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pause this while we do this right now. Medical aid. Explore the build menu, and you'll find buildings that can provide all of these for your needs. Let's place a town hall structure. Uh, you should help build a builder's yard and employ citizens to build for you if, you're, if your engineers die. Okay. Build a town hall. Let's go ahead and get that done. Oh, very interesting. You can't do any of that while you're paused. Ah. Oh, all right. Very good. Burning torch. What the hell? Oh, it's for a uh, little artwork, civic and stuff. Very good. Very good. Town hall underneath the shield icon. Let's go ahead and build a town hall. I guess we'll put it fairly close to our other little building over here, maybe. Um, Should I put it close to the storehouse? That might be good, too, actually. You know what? Let's try and do that. Can I put it up here by our storehouse, perhaps? I can go ahead and rotate it a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and throw that down right about there. Very good. Uh, so that's going to be going. We have the salvage place doing its thing. Let's make sure to always get our dude helping with this because that's going to be super important. Remember to help construct with your leader. Oh, I already thought about that. So good to know I'm playing this game the right, lay the right way, maybe. Uh, we're down to 55 people. Stab at your town hall act as enforcers and will deal with any criminals. Yes. Now that you've hired workers, left click on the town hall to bring up its menu. Shortcut the T key. The issues tab shows a list of social issues in your town. The circle next to each issue will turn red when the issue has occurred in your town. If a murderer, if a murderer has not yet occurred, speed up time and wait until it turns red. Oh my God. So we want murder. That's horrible. Oh, this game. But check this out, boys. Look at this. 
I think. Yep, we got people going down here to salvage right now. Employed by the savaging hut. Felix over here is heading on down. Going to start getting some pieces for us, which is very nice. Who that? What is that? What the hell is this group over here? 91 years old. How did you? How did you get to this point? I don't even know, man. Sometimes, sometimes I wonder. I wonder. All right, our town hall is built. Let's go ahead and click on it. We want to make sure to hire some workers. We want all employees. Matilda, Evie, Milo, and Alice. Wow, the names on this are pretty legit. Um, let's see here. To bring up its menu, the T key. We have an info area over here as well. What is this? Oh, is this like distraught? Uh, yeah, so you don't want to do none of that. All right. All right, so let's go over here to Town Hall. Left click on it. Yep. Psychopathic murderers have taken innocent lives. You, cl you cannot click on an issue until it's happened in your town. The black circle will turn red when it has happened. Oh, God. Citizens are engaging in sexual activity in exchange for payment. How could this be? How horrible. And citizens are being uh, antagonistic to people from different racial backgrounds in their town. Wow. All right. So there's actually quite a few things. Whoa. Things that you can do. Solution. Execution. Slay those who perpetrate this issue. Enforcers at the town hall arrest anyone who commits this action and escort the perpetrator to the punishment center, whereupon that person will be hung by the neck until dead. This naturally prevents the person from repeating the action ever again. It also makes it significantly less likely that others will consider it, uh, consider committing this deed. Wrongfully accused. Uh, well, you know what? Make an omelet. You gotta, you gotta freaking break some eggs. Execution it is. Execution. You've been judged. Execution enacted. Yes. That's freaking awesome. Okay, so we're going to need a punishment center. So where would... Ooh, rain collector. Is the rain evil? I don't know. Luxury house, latrine, hospital. We're going to need a lot of this stuff. Storehouses are full. Oh, God. Up, oh, punishment center. Right over here. Check this out. Boom. Uh, let's start building a lot of our... A lot of our kind of like main buildings maybe up this way. Oh, the punishment center, baby. Right next to the town hall. Right next to the town hall in the storehouse. You always want to make sure that you have plenty of entertainment for the populace. Go ahead and help if you please. I would appreciate that. There we go. Uh, and then I can click. Damn it. And then I can click off of this. There we go. All right, good. Now he's doing his thing. Great turkey master. Go, my child. Now, we need another storehouse. This could be an issue because I don't know if there's another place near enough to us to convert into a storehouse. You can salvage this one, but you can't convert it. Oh, sweet. Okay, I've managed to find a couple more buildings. So, you know, this is like our main area over here. We've got another big-ass farmhouse or something like that over here. This one looks pretty good. We can convert this into a useful building, which is really cool. Um, there's also, like, some cars and stuff down there as well. Or, I think down this way there was something. There's a car, there's a car down there. Yep, there's another building right over here. So I guess the big question is, which one is like slightly closer than the other? Um, this one just looks like maybe our people have to do like less crazy crap to get to it. It also has that car kind of near it. So I do appreciate that. So let's go ahead and convert this into a structure, convert it into a storehouse. And that's what we're going to do. So that was a bombed house. That's going to get converted eventually. We're still making our, uh, our punishment center over here. Continue to move through this tutorial. It says the problem, how you, deal, uh, how you deal with the problem is up to you. There are six universal solutions for every issue. Execution and imprisonment have been implemented. Note that each solution has a required building. Execution requires a punishment center. Imprisonment requires a prison. Okay. So let's build one of those. Well, I already, I, luckily I selected the right friggin' thing. Do I have to hire people for this, I'll bet? Oh, I sure do. Hire workers. Get over there, boys. We need that murderer hung by the neck until dead. Keep pressing escape to close the town hall interface and build a punishment center. All right, we've already done that. Once you have built the required structure, return to the town hall menu. All right, so here we go. We've done that now. Now you have a punishment center or prison. You can choose to execute murderers or imprison them. You are free to change your mind whenever you like, but this will not always be the case. All right, so we have this one. Execution judge and now that should be it i think uh your solution all right so i think that people are going to oh god people are starting to walk over here there's one sad solitary woman 
looking longingly at the noose. What does it all mean, boys? What does it all mean? Oh, there's a little sign over here, too. It's probably like, ye who have screwed up, come in, come onto the, the punishment center and receive thy fate. Now that you have picked a solution, right click on your town hall and watch the employees there. As soon as that issue occurs again, they will go into enforcing mode and arrest anyone. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Well, there you go. There you go. I guess it was only a matter of time before old, uh, can I even click on this girl? Oh, I can't even click on her anymore. I was going to say before old uh, Jenny McCracken over here got what was coming her. Oh my God, we got a secondary hanging going on over here. It's a freaking twofer. We're down to 47 people. We need to get, we need to get this stuff done. This may take time depending on how violent <laughs> your town is. All right. Great. Finally, check out the stats tab of your town hall. Left click on town hall. Choose the stats at the top. This will give you a general overview. All right. Congratulations. You've completed the tutorial. It's up to you how to use your basic knowledge to keep survivors alive, expand your town, and see what happens to criminals. When ready, click on the question mark next to the top left corner to close this tutorial. Uh, you can press it again at any point to reopen it. So right now, the goal for the early alpha is 180 citizens and a 60% approval rating. Great. All right. Well... We've closed it down. This is what we got going on right now. Oh, that doesn't look good. All right. First things first, I can already see water is going to be an issue. So we're going to need to do something. We've got a watering well. Dig down into the barren ground and seek water. Regularly winch up any trickling water you can find. Produces two well water per cycle. Takes two days to produce. Got a rain collector. Gather rain and dew from the churning atmosphere. This apocalyptic weather is unpredictable. and may take some time for the rain to come. But it'll be plenty to drink when the tank is full. Ooh. Uh, two workers for maximum output. Livestock ranch. That's pretty good. Or a greenhouse. Attempt to cultivate fresh fruit. All right. So let's get a water well done. Uh, oh, we need to collect more resources, huh? We don't have enough rubble. All right. We managed to get some rubble. Rubble is, like, super important. That's what we need to build almost all of our stuff. But we need more storage houses. So I'm actually going to use this little plot of land over here as like a little storage area. So I'm gonna put another storage house right over here for right now. I'm gonna get my guy to help on this. We're gonna need that built pretty soon because he did get a whole slew of rubble. He just has no place to put it right now. Our scavengers are still doing their thing, but we're getting a lot of like everything else. What we really needed was the rubble and we're gonna have to take care of all these dead bodies as well. There we go, yes. Get that freaking storehouse done, and then we're going to make sure to make a well, and then we're going to make sure to make the, the crematory. Yeah, look at all the bodies over here. We're going to be getting the plague pretty soon from all the death and sadness that's going on. There we go. Now we have a ton of rubble and everything else that we're going to need to put stuff like wells together. So let's go ahead and start on that. Uh, where do I want to put the well? We have like this little base of operation down here for scavenging. I think we should probably make another one over here at some point. Let's go ahead and kind of put the well near where our uh, like town center style area is. So I'd really like to put it over here. There's just not a lot of places to put it. Looks like we can put it right over here. So that's good. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to get our buddy to go ahead and help on that, which is going to be fantastic. While that is going, let's go back over to the construction area. We're going to want, where is the crematory for sure? Uh, needs a little bit of rubble, a little bit of scrap metal, and a little bit of wood. So we're going to want... Oh, wow, this is actually pretty pretty big. Um, we're going to want this away, I would imagine, from the rest of the main populous area over here. At least I would assume. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe right next to the friggin' prison would be perfect. Hold on here. Is there any place I can put this? Can I put this kind of near all this BS over here? Not really. How about on this side? Oh, hold on now. Right over here. Right on the friggin' cliffside. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. The well is up and running. Let's go make sure that we hire some workers. We have plenty of people, I'm pretty sure. We, we have plenty of people that are not uh, employed at the moment. So we're going to want the water thing going super fast. Over here, let's go get our buddy. We always want our buddy to help construct things because I think that that is like... That is, like, really his use. And this is great, too, because my, my workers, my builders are kind of in this same generic area instead of having them run all over creation. So we're getting stuff built right now super fast. Super fast. 
Oh, you can see the smokestack has already begun, baby. Man, we are hanging people left and right all the damn time. We ended up hanging someone that was innocent. So I feel kind of bad about that. Not super bad, just kind of bad. All right, so now this is done. Let's go ahead and make sure that we hire workers for this. Finey Taylor, Amy, ba Amy Bailey, Ethan Lighty, <laughs> and Scott Owen. I'm so sorry, people. Your job is now to burn the various corpses that are found all over the place. Now, that that's going on, we're going to want some additional stuff. Let's go ahead and click on any one of our people here to find out some of the issues. Uh, plagued has caught the plague from a corpse. There is no cure. They may heal after several days or die. Okay. So getting some sort of first aid or something like that is really going to help. Can offer in terms of health care. Assuming you can afford to build it. Uh, six visitors at once. And this, two visitors at once. So this takes three times more. But you get three times more people that can be fixed from it. Let's just do a first aid tent right now. Um... I don't really know if we're going to need something as impressive as a hospital quite yet. Uh, let's go ahead and check out our area over here. Where do I want to put the hospital at? Well, really, any place I can friggin' fit it. All right, the hospital can fit right on this ridge over here, so that's good. We're going to go ahead and get our buddy to start building that up. You can see the approval rating is starting to go up finally. We're kind of starting to, uh, like, I don't know, I guess, like, level off all of the sadness that has been going on over here. So once these guys get this built, there is no doubt that that'll be helping quite well. Now, can I, like, click on this and find out? Disposing of bodies. Excellent. Yes. That is exactly what I want to see happen. I mean, that sounds terrible, but that is what I want to see happen. Over here, you can see our health now. Our general health is starting to go up. Uh, our rest is still kind of bad. We don't have a lot of houses for our people. I feel like we should start building some homes and stuff like that. But this first aid tent is kind of, like, super important. I do want to get this under wrap, like, ASAP. So, 73%. 70, and, and, yeah, see right there. An innocent citizen has been executed for a crime they did not commit. We thought that they were a dirty murderer, but I guess they weren't. We're up to 42 people. So, some individuals have joined our cause, which is kind of nice. All right. Going over here. Hire workers right away. Ibrahim Evans and Russell Hughes... You guys are now doctors for the village. So make my make my people proud. Yeah, right over here, you can see we have some additional folks kind of meandering in. All right, so let's look into housing here. We have a tenement, we have a basic shack, and we have a luxury house. So the, the basic shack costs one of everything. The tenement costs two of everything. It gets five people capacity, but it gives 75 shelter. Um, whereas the shack houses 10 people but only gives 35 shelter let's start with a basic shack like just so that we can start like having a place for these poor people to lay their heads at night i'm sure they would enjoy that if i could put it somewhere near the uh the well over here that would be kind of nice Ooh, we can uh in fact how far over can we put this it's kind of we kind of got like a weird sprawling area right now because of how uneven all the ground is but that's fine i'm not super worried about it still just kind of like learning the game and stuff uh, let me go ahead and get my, my guy over there doing his thing. There we go. Yes. Go do your thing. Put together a shack for God's sakes. These poor people need a place to live. It's really cool seeing how detailed all the little structures are. Here we are over at our crematory. You see all the caskets and stuff like that. We click on it. People are disposing of bodies. We're on day 99 right now. Damn. So let me go ahead and fast forward things along as usual. We're going to get this house built. We'll see what else cool there is to build after this. I imagine we're going to want like food. We have a well for some water, but maybe like a nice greenhouse or something would really help out. Hey, 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 look at this. The crap shack is built. Look at this. People are resting there. Sweet. I mean, there's dead bodies laying around the crap shack, but I think our, our crematory individuals should be. Yep. You can see every once in a while they wander over, they pick up a body and then they deposit them. Oh, a latrine. Look at this. We need a latrine for sanitary, uh, uh, sanitary ways for people to urinate and defecate. So we're definitely going to want this. Uh, and it says make sure to have multiples. Um, oh, wow. There's like a whole ton of friggin' porta potties. That's what you get. Putting it over here by the storehouse might be a good option. Do we also have some areas over here that we can utilize? It looks like we do. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Oh, yep. Right over here. Right by the well. 
Kind of close to the well. Kind of close to uh, our little shacks over there. That would probably be pretty good. I'm going to put it this way. There we go. I'm going to put it this way. Go ahead and help build the structure, uh, Turkey Master. Get that thing done. Having a nice latrine. Going to help out quite a bit. Then I think we're going to go straight into a nice greenhouse. And maybe we'll start providing some food. You can see our population now finally starting to go up. But the food issue is kind of becoming a thing. Um, so we are going to have to take care of that. Happiness right around 60%. Although it should go up after we're done with the latrine. Now, do you have to have people... I assume you don't have to, like, hire anyone for it. No, you don't. Provides clean sanitation for 20 people. Wow. So we only need three of them. And then we'll have clean sanitation for everything. But I, t I said I was going to build a greenhouse. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, Right over first aid tent. Oh, here we go. So a greenhouse... Three fruit, a good food source, or we could have a livestock ranch. Um, but it takes 12 days. So we've got three for four or nine for 12. So that's actually pretty similar. Uh, the difference, though, is the amount of items that it takes. Uh, they both take two, but this provides, like, a lot of stuff, but it takes a long time. We're going to go with the greenhouse. The greenhouse, probably best over here by the storage, perhaps. Look at this. Right right over here, we got plenty of sun as well for it. Looking good. Can we put it this way and really squeeze it in? Oh, we can. Yeah, see how it turns red in places, but then it turns green in other places? Can I kind of, like, move it over here? Uh, right about, like, that there. There we go. Greenhouse, baby. Greenhouse is a go. Great turkey master. Go ahead and do your thing. I think we're fresh out of builders. So we're gonna want a builder's hut too. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Gray Turkey Master go ahead and finish this up though. And then I think we're gonna call it a day for right now. Alright, we have a greenhouse, man. Go ahead and hire some people. Toby, Michael, Rory, Jaden, and Noah James, that's interesting, are all going to be cultivating food for people. That's gonna be freaking sweet. We are fresh. We need more storehouses again, and we're just gonna build them. Because uh, I'm gonna use the other houses in the area. Uh, to rip down because it is way better to rip them down for the resources than it is to convert them I think uh, because building a storehouse takes almost no effort So it's kind of nice. Anyway guys. This is our little village right now, man We got it going on looks pretty good. I think let me know what you guys think of atomic society I think it's very I think it's really cool so far. This has a lot of potential to it I think we should build up our town a little bit more. There's another buddy right over there hanging in sadness Overlooking everything. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's get a nice, clear look over here of our uh, our latrines and stuff. There we go. Yes. Very good. Anyway, like I said, let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>